okay hello friends this is yusuf here today uh, we're going to see something interesting okay a uh, few months before i have made a video about uh, node js in ibm i okay so for those who are new uh, actually we can create node js application using our uh, as 400 and uh, not as 400 ibm i okay so and recently i come across that our pub 400 is is having the node js already installed so i just made one sample uh, hello world program for that but today i'm going to do something more okay because i found i find a way to do that okay so what we are going to do we are going to create a web service okay uh, we are going to build a rest web service uh, which means to get the data from the pf and then exposing the data through the web okay so if you know about uh, my few web development videos about uh, the ibmi i have created those based on the Uh, apache http server which is available in our uh, inbuilt uh, ibm i server and how to do that using some cga programming so if you if you want to see those videos i'll give the link in the description below but this is the latest way of doing it okay uh, i don't know how many of us getting the chance to do these things even i am not getting it okay but i am just exploring with the, the options okay finally so if you go to qsh right Uh, in our pub for under in any ibm i if the node is already installed then you can try node hyphen v then that that will tell you the version of the node you have okay uh, so node is actually a javascript framework which we can run any javascript code inside it we can use this for a server side language so yeah so let's get started so i'm going to work link okay and i have created a directory called my node i go inside okay first of all uh, i will explain this one app1.js okay so this is what the code uh, not this one wait a minute huh? change of ccsid ccsid 37 so it's good to change the cd to 37 okay anyway so previously i used something called uh, http module of the node js to create a web server okay if you remember i used a constant http equal to require http okay so express actually is a is a module which is available in node js okay using which we can create the web server and then doing the web rest based web services easily actually okay so this is how it goes something like so we we're going to import this express framework using uh, this command uh, require express and then app is equal to express is the initiation initialization okay then uh, currently just to simulate right i am having a data in a variable called json data and it's having two values like not two values yeah two key value pair name and age and here is like app dot get so app is this variable so dot get means is a get method so if the request coming with the slash which is which means the root okay and then uh, this will have a callback function called uh, request and response and i can use the response um, parameter to send the value to the browser so here you can see response dot send i'm just displaying hello world fine so if suppose i get app dot get slash data okay then i'm just Uh, setting my content type to json and then setting uh, the status to 200 and then sending this json data okay and then i am having i am just starting this server using app dot listen port is 3000 and that's it so let's see how it behaves so i am in uh, home user and then my download okay so i'm just going to qsh and then go to cd my node if i do a ls i will be able to see my files here i'm going to say i'm going to uh, execute this app1.js okay so i'm going to say node app1.js so if you start this right you can see server started so how do we see this whether it's working or not so you can go to your web browser and we are in pub 400 right so i just go pub 400 and then we have given the port 3030 if so we give enter you can see it's hitting and then return back this text hello world okay fine we also have slash data right as our another root so i give slash data you can see the response coming in okay so this is pretty much interesting so we are able to kind of making our ibm as a web server and then uh, able to request uh, from our browser and then getting the response but what will be quite interesting is actually if you have a pf okay so i have a pf here uh, for example uh, user 03211 slash users okay this is a simple uh, two column pf okay i want to expose this data to the browser okay how do you do that so now uh, the only missing piece is once we receive the request from the browser we need to somehow get the data from the pf and then return it okay so how do we do that so for that i want to demonstrate this program test js okay what is this test js nothing but 
we have a inbuilt uh, module called db2 available in this path okay uh, it comes pre installed with no nodejs in ibm i okay this is a simple command so we require this and with the variable db and then db.init and db.con equal to star local and then we can have whatever the sql statement we want in a variable okay then we just say db.exec uh, we give we pass the sql statement comma the result will come into a function with the argument rs then if you print the rs let's see what happens so this is my test.js so let me go to qsh uh, cd my node cd my node okay ls something wrong f3 qsh cd my node yeah so we can the ls minus l we have the same direct yeah so node test.js so if you run this right what happens E oh wait let me change this is e change job cd my node node test.js okay not sure why it displays like this okay anyway but what we are seeing is actually it's going and hitting the pf and then you turn back the text okay so now if we embed this code into our appbone.js okay which means inside the app.js instead of we normally are statically sending this response we need to get the data from uh, the pf here and then return back so for that i have created another file called app.js if you go inside so i have just added those statements here okay and then in, when we request for slash data i am just going in instead of just returning it i am just doing a db exec and then after the result i am just sending back the result uh, as the data okay now uh let's see this thing uh, app.js okay so uh, okay. qsh uh, cd what my node and uh, node app.js so it should say server started and if you go here okay if i give uh, if i give refresh you can see the pf data coming here okay so this is pretty much interesting actually okay uh, because now you have the control over your pf uh, through the node js module itself so which means whatever i have just demonstrated here actually just to tell that uh, we we can uh, get the request and then match it to the uh, uh, process it in the node js program and then get the data from the pf and then uh, send return back to the browser but ideally in a web service standard we'll be having a context and then uh, okay and then doing a, re a resourceful uh, web services so anyway this is for the demonstration purpose so i just created a simple uh, connectivity okay so i hope this makes kind of interesting video for you okay um, and uh, i have explored few more things actually uh, how to create a website a dynamic website uh, using something called ejs maybe i'll demonstrate that in my next video or my upcoming videos uh, yeah that's it for this video so hope this helps for you Thanks for watching. Goodbye.